Now there's new research about an alternative that could be a game changer for millions. Dr. John Torres has more with what you need to know. Heart disease, it's the number one killer in the nation. A major risk factor, high cholesterol that can block arteries leading to heart attack and stroke. But the most common treatment, drugs called statins, can sometimes cause side effects. Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist for New York's Lenox Hill Hospital. What are side effects that some people get from statins? It's going to be those muscle or joint aches or pains, which are typically reversible when you stop the statin or even if you lower the dose. But results from a study out today in the New England Journal of Medicine could give new hope to those who need another option. Researchers followed 14,000 patients with or at high risk for heart disease who couldn't tolerate statin side effects. Half got a placebo, the others a daily dose of an FDA-approved pill called bembidoic acid. After nearly three and a half years, the group taking bembidoic acid showed a drop in LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol, 21% more than with placebo alone. But that's not all. Cleveland Clinic's Dr. Steve Nissen led the study. I would say that the most striking thing that we saw was the 23% reduction in heart attacks. That's a pretty big reduction. Researchers call the side effects minimal and include risk of gout and gallstones. Without insurance, bembidoic acid, available under the brand name Nexlitol, could cost more than $400 a month, and there's no generic option yet. What are you going to be telling your patients next week if they come and ask you about this? I will be excited to be able to tell them that there is another option, and I think patients are going to be very happy to have something else that they can go to when they can't tolerate statins. One more promising new tool for prevention in the battle against heart disease. Dr. John Torres, NBC News. Moving on, some union nurses fill out something called an assignment despite objection form when they have concerns of safety on the job. Experts say these forms and the scenes depicted in what you're about to see are just a snapshot of what's happening across the country. Ted Oberg reports.